Hey everybody, welcome back to BrewTube Comedy. I am so excited to be back at the Wood Shop. Uh, we are kicking off the Limestone Comedy Festival, something we've done for the last four years. We have over 50 comics from all over the country descending upon this location. This beautiful building right here, it's awesome. We're gonna go inside, you'll see uh, where they do their fermenting. We're gonna talk to one of the managers and bartenders. It's gonna be great. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Right on, I'm here with my main man Kyle from Upland. We're at the <laughs> wood shop, about to kick off the BrewTube comedy uh, show at the Limestone Comedy Festival. How you doing, man? Doing good. Good. Excited uh, to, to hear and see all these people. So. Good, man. Yeah. So uh, what do you do here for Upland? Yeah, so I'm uh, one of our managers uh, okay. for the pub side. I also do all the catering stuff. So anything on-site catering, I'm the guy that kind of organizes things and, okay. and runs them. So. Yeah, like the utility knife. Yeah, yeah, pretty was, much, yeah. for better for worse. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Well, you poured us a couple of sours. I We're did. at the wood shop, which is known for their sours. Yep. You'll see barrels upon barrels. All of our sours start out at our brew pub uh, in our original brewery that we used uh, up until we expanded you know, okay. in the early 2000s. So all of our beer is started over there as a base sour. It ages for about eight or nine months. And then after that process, we actually have a pipeline that uh, we, we pipe it under the parking lot and into the wood shop. What? Yeah, so. So nine months yeah. and then you get buried properly. And pretty much, yeah. And then, and then you then rise it, from the dead. You, you as get a, resurrected, as of as course. Sour. Okay. Uh, and then it comes into different uh, secondary fermenters, uh, different holding mm -hmm. tanks over here. Uh, uh, similar to this, uh, if we put it in oak barrels, that's another process. We'll fruit it sometimes as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we'll spend days just cutting up pineapple or peaches or whatever. Oh, that's awesome. Throw it in. Yeah, real fruit yeah. then. Yeah. Oh, totally, man. That's awesome. So, what are yeah. we what are we having here? Yeah, so this is Revive. It's one okay. of our fruited sour ales. It uses our basis base sour. Okay. Um, from there, it goes into oak barrels, and we also throw in uh, pineapple and whole chamomile flowers. And so, okay. it ages. And uh, you can really pick up the pineapple you were talking about. Yeah, earlier. you got. It, like immediately yeah. as you're pouring it you get hit with pineapple it's yeah. awesome how much pineapple goes into oh my god batch? i don't have a concrete number uh, a lot for okay. sure yeah for sure Your i hands know getting uh, sore cutting up oh pineapple. totally yeah. i there uh on our peach sour they'll spend uh, at least a few days cutting up bushels okay. of peaches so yeah. that gives you an idea yeah <laughs> well i appreciate it man cheers totally cheers come get some revive at the wood shop this is absolutely phenomenal We're here with my man, Max Fine. How we doing? Hey, hello. I'm so fucking... Uh, can I curse? You can curse, yeah. Shit, dude. I'm thrilled to be here, do brother. You wanna, do you want to hold can this? Can I? Yeah, like, sure. What a dream. Yeah, man. This is so exciting, Hell Dwight. Yeah, right? I can't You're wait. amped up. Where are you in from? New York City, New baby. New York City, yeah. the big city. Hell yeah, yeah, and it's underwater, so I got I out know. Like a day, the day before, and <laughs> I'm still... You escaped. Es yeah, escaped bro, from I escaped New York. from New York, dude. <laughs> I saw that movie yeah. Tuesday. I was like, well, I guess we got to go now. Yeah, it's that time to go. Yeah, That was it, That was, yeah, Snake. Was uh, was his name Snake? Yeah. Sure. Right on. I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was lying through my teeth. But. <laughs> so I've known you for a minute. Yeah, man. dude. You're like a great seven dude. years. You're drinking water. I know. What is happening? Well, it's early. Yeah. And if I start drinking now, okay. I'll be asleep by six. He's game planning. And then I'll miss my everybody. 10 p.m. show. Right on. And if I do that, I probably can't do the one tomorrow. Okay. So, so yeah. it's all a strategy, yeah. baby. I'm high it. as hell. Okay. So I'm you're super on some I'm high. I'm <laughs> some substance. Yeah. That, you that cop? Helps. Yeah. You cop, dude? You cop? No, 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 no. Yeah, sure, sure. Everybody's cool. For sure, dude. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, man. So what are you looking forward to the most this weekend? This is exciting because like, since the pandemic, I've yeah. barely gotten to see my friends. Right. And it's like, I've got a lot of friends coming from all over the country that I haven't gotten to see like do comedy in like yeah. four years. So, did anybody else stop brushing their teeth at night during the pandemic? <laughs> no, uh, let me rephrase for the people that held their hands. Did anybody in this room stop brushing their teeth at night because it was affecting the taste of the beer they were bringing to bed with them? <laughs> Does that change anything? No, you're still, do you think you're better than me? I don't like that. All right, this is good. I'm happy to be, I'm in the middle of a love triangle right now. I, uh, I like this girl, she doesn't like me, and I don't understand geometry. It's crazy, man. I, uh, it is wild. I, uh, hell yeah, I didn't graduate high school. You still think you're better than me, bro? I, uh, okay. You know what, give me a hug. You. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> good, no. I'm wet, dude. I'm a wet boy today. Yeah. It's been a long drive. 
Max Fine, where can people find you, man? Uh, finecomedy.com or uh, Twitter, MaxFine12. Check them out. Oh, thanks, Dwight. What's up, hey. ladies? What's going on? Oh, I'm, you know, just uh, traveling all day. Hell yeah. Well, you made it. Welcome to Limestone. I made it. Where I'm you, very, I'm very excited. Where are you traveling from? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. I, I just said it in a way I don't ever say it. I don't know why I said Atlanta. You got it's, real twangy I, with this. It's for some, Atlanta. <laughs> okay. It's Atlanta, not Atlanta. You said Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. There is an Atlanta, Indiana, so we oh. didn't want to confuse anybody. She's from Atlanta, Georgia, and maybe that's why you naturally is there yeah i don't like that at all I there's didn't... definitely not but there's a peru there's a brazil there, I there might see be a... brazil on the map yeah. i thought that was very weird yeah. indiana yeah. weird place that's palm trees but yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've done trees. you've done limestone i've never done limestone you've never done limestone, never oh done my limestone. God. what are you looking forward to the most I've never, I, I have heard nothing but good things about the Comedy Attic, about uh -huh. that stage, about like the people who come there and everybody's like, it's always a good time. Yeah. Uh, so I've been looking forward to coming here and working that room yeah. the entire time. Also just seeing everybody. Yeah, right. Seeing friends, catching seeing up. Seeing friends. Oh my God. Max Fine, I just drove up. I haven't seen Max Fine's face in years. I know, look at him, looking it, all fit. I and know. Oh my goodness. I was like, I don't know who he is. Yeah. This is crazy. All right, Max said he's pacing himself. He's not drinking. What are your drinking plans <laughs> oh, for all, the weekend? All of it. All right, all, all of the, it. All the drinking. You came to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I came in, was handed two free beer tickets, and I was like, "That's great. I'm planning on <laughs> drinking those and buying a couple more." That, like, that's not... how we do it in Atlanta, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to this Atlanta, Indiana. Yeah, we gotta this is some bullshit. I'm not I'm not excited about that at all. Yeah. Well yeah. I appreciate you doing Bluetooth comedy. We usually talk about beer and Ooh. our like comedy and breweries. I know that's yeah. like very prevalent in Atlanta. Literally like every brewery has every comedy. Every single show is in a brewery. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can and we it's... like what how who who kicked that? Did y'all start that? Who started that? I didn't start it. I just I mean I started it here, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. How long has how long has this been running here? So we've done Brewtube comedy for the last four festivals. This is okay, very festival cool. eight. So very cool. Um, you know, with the pandemic shutting down last year. Right, right, broke right, our right. streak, but we're back. And we back. got a great lineup. I'm so yeah. happy yeah. that you're on it. Bartending is the worst job. Who's been a bartender? Couple people. All right, I can see your souls are dead. Uh, <laughs> no life left in there for bartending, right? It's horrific. It's terrible, but it teaches you to be a better human. That's for sure. I was worried about having to go back to bartending post pandemic. Um, for a few reasons, all right? Mainly, uh, they want you in customer service, especially in the restaurant industry, to, uh, to agree with the idea that the customer is always right. That's what they want you to, to act like. Um, how the shit do you make a customer happy after they've been pouring their own drinks in their own homes for almost a year and a half? How do you do that? You can't do that. They order a drink off the menu, they take a sip of it, and they're like, this is he say there's the alcohol in it. And it's like, bitch, you've been sticking a straw directly into a bottle of Casamigos every night for almost two years after your shit ass kids have been going to school on the internet in the living room and your husband took the one good guest room you had to go to his stupid ass job where you knew he was definitely not jerking off half the time. Well, I appreciate you, Lace. Where Thanks. can people find you? Uh, on the internet. Yeah. Uh, all of my handles oh. everywhere are, uh, I don't know if anyone's heard of that, the internet. Uh, it's uh, at Lace Larrabee on everything. If you just attempt my name, you'll find it. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. No. Well, thank you, Lace. Thanks. Have the best fucking weekend. Oh my God, right. thank you so much. I feel like we should be very, thank you so much. There it is. Oh, full twirl. I'll go this way. <laughs>